Hello there. In this video, we're going to look on one special extension for stable diffusion local installations so that make much more fun to create it. Your of course, you're probably familiar with a Civit AI. If you're not, it's a place where you can discover a many different models, LoRa models, extension, and other things that you can utilize in your stable diffusion. Just keep on warning that this is not safe for workplace area so you need enable filtering usually what i do i just enable save so i can browse around here but if you're interested you can also disable filter and see all possible models that you people created the my biggest problem about this i need to go around all of these models find one research look on this and with a special extension inside this stable diffusion you can do same things much faster easy and it will take for you all of this handle things to download it, install in the right place and everything. So it's almost to feel like a kid in candy store. To install this extension, you need to go in your stable diffusion extension tab and click on available. From available, click load from. And one specific we're looking for is called CVEI Browser Plus. In my case, you can see it says install it. In yours, you probably have it just word install click on this and it will download it all necessary components and libraries as we need it after installation completed you can click on your install it check for updates apply it and start if you have it, any other additional things in some cases you may be reload UI does not help then you need go restart all of your server by shut down and restart it and many times I do recommend when you install new extension because I found out Sometimes preloaded library does not necessarily display properly if you just reloaded UI. After you're done with installation reloaded, you should have a new tab called Civit AI. Let's click on this. Notice we have a lot of search components and parameters. Most what you need to kind of pay attention, it is content type, what you want it, search term. And refresh this is kind of important notice we have it our checkpoint or models LoRa textual inversion so we have it all of these categories which is kind of very nice we can select it so let's select for example checkpoint right now as a model I want to keep it all time sort most downloadable we ignore this one and next search term let's go ahead and call um, if we leave it everything as default and click on refresh you'll notice it will go to the server and download it. The one tip I would recommend for you, don't use the model name, switch to the tag. The reason is because pixel art in this time, looking where is have a pixel art inside the name of the model, and it's maybe ignored bigger selections of those um, a lot of models or models checkpoints in this case, they may have it just a tag. So let's switch to the tag and click refresh. You'll notice now we have it much more of them. Notice as well, my NSFW is unchecked. If you check in, you probably will have it some additional models that is not safe to show on a YouTube. After when you're done, you can select one. In this case, let's go ahead and pre-select one like Pixel Art Pride. We'll go select one of these. And as we select it, you'll notice it is populating for us all of these variables and if we scroll down you will also have it some pre-renders with information steps with this process so it gives you kind of very nice preview what model can do the other big plus to use at this ui it's also helping to know what model you have it and what outdated for example let's go ahead we'll type anime tag and we'll click refresh and here we have it selection of anime. Notice some of them have a frame, some of them have a green frame, orange, and other ones. The nice things about this that orange is indicated it's new versions out of there from what I have. So it's actually went to my installation folder, verified if I already have this model installed, and if I do, if it's outdated, it's inform me, or if I have it current, like Contraferro version three, it says green, so I have this already installed. On this case, you don't need to reinstall outdated versions or uh, you can update your versions or get it no, duplicate versions. In uh, some cases with me, it's happened. I went like Civit AI. 
I look on some models and I'm consider start downloading them and after figure out I already have this model it just maybe name different or some other area so this is kind of very nice for management next if we go down to this line you'll notice we have the previous page next page and right here we have it one of 169 yes anime is a very very popular subject and you can see how many pages of this we have anytime when you have this large selection a properly so sorting or filtering do help so example let's go on the top you have a time period and you notice right here we're gonna have the latest or all of the time also currently it's sorted by most downloadable so you have the most popular first by downloads you can also change this by highest rated news or whatever people like it the most and of course the most important down it's a filter based model so if we click down you'll notice right here we have it would support stable diffusion 1.5 uh, 2 as the excel and so on also if you have it a very large set to preview you can modify the style set how many you want to view and so on of course i said before if we click on a specific model you can check down there's we have it our download folder where we put it currently versions all necessary informations and also preview down below for the model so if you want you can come and test it beside checkpoints we also have it our textual inversions LoRa poses control net all is additional one thing I do like actually textual inversion or LoRa because in some cases they can save a lot of time and it's mostly important space when you apply LoRa to specific style for example, if we're going with a LoRa content type and we're going with a search as an ink art, we come up with a two. Notice it's in a tag. After when selecting one, um, notice I always verified the download folder will point to right folder. And when you select right model, everything, all you need to do just click on download model. Based on a speed of your internet connections it may take a little bit time or it's maybe take very fast like in my cases and after it will download it in your area and right here you can see it's placed in right area and we also have this green box around so now if we're going in a it's text to image we'll go to the lower for example areas and we probably want to click on a refresh or edit it and right here we have it our one thing that is I do like with the, using this plugin notice we have it our preview almost any time when I download it by myself I would forget something or I get wrong file and I don't have it like no previews on a style or anything so the managing through management through this specific extension it's make much easier more pleasant and allowed you to expand what style you're using and how you're using thank you for watching this video if you like it please subscribe give us a thumb up and share this video your support greatly appreciated